What's up folks, Zepho TBS back again with a four package tuber mail day slash mail recap. Um, I've got four packages here, like I said, one of which is unopened, three that range anywhere from about a week and a half to about a month and a half. So I'm behind and I figured I would put the tuber mail in a separate video than recent pickups. Um, that'll help keep the time on the recent pickups to a minimum, sorry Dave, um, but that's just how it needs to be. Because <laughs> um, there's a lot of stuff to show. I've had a lot of breaks, a lot of pickups, and it's not all Gonzalez stuff. So anyway, getting into it, I'm gonna dive right in. Uh, the first one is, this was totally unexpected and like, it seems so cliche when people say that I got an envelope or I got a package and didn't recognize the name or I didn't look at the name. Um, and this was one of those instances. I was like, I, I was waiting on a card that would come in a PWE and this came in a PWE. Um, and I was like, what in the world, dude? What is this? And I left it on the table for a, a couple days because I was like, okay, that's that's got to be from a tuber. Um, and turns out it was. And I love it. Um, it's from Jason Aaron Goldberg. Dude, I love your box openings. Um, I think I, I might have commented on a couple of uh, the vids recently. But you've done several videos uh, since then. But I watched them. And I listened to them on the way home from work. Um, they're really cool. I like the, the persona you take on when, when you do your openings. Um, but anyway, this was really cool. Um, Got a letter. Sorry, that's what I keep looking at. It says, Dear Alan, here's a little shenanigans spoils for your Juan Gonzalez PC. Keep up the fun. See you in the broadcast booth. Seriously, or <laughs> seriously, sincerely, Jason Aaron Goldberg. And he included, and I've left it taped because that's how I'm going to keep it. Um, that's a, uh, what is it, 92 tops? Yeah, 92 tops. Gold winners of Juan Gonzalez. I do have that card, so that's why I'm going to keep this taped to the letter, and this will go in the YouTube PC. So, love it. Jason, thank you so much. Love that. Very cool and nice paper stock, by the way. That's a heavyweight paper stock. I dig it. Um, next up, Rich Crook, Breeze and Oaints, had... This was another one that totally confused me. He said... I, I forget how he worded. He said something was on the way... And it didn't come from Rich. It came from Philip Thompson, Motown Philly. Um, and I guess he won this in a Raz, had Phil send it to me. And I could not read Phil's uh, name on his return address. And we've never had any exchanges. Um, so I didn't, I literally didn't know who it was from. I was waiting on an envelope from Rich. This from Rich was coming from Phil. So, kind of twisted up, but I got it, and I dig it. Um, everybody is TTM and Juan. And they, everybody and their mom, but not the guy who collects him the most. So, I don't know what to say about it. I will eventually, probably right around the time he gets tired of signing, which will probably never happen. That guy's just awesome and loves his fans. But this is from 99. Victory. Hold on. 99 victory, power trip, on card, obviously. I mean, Juan doesn't do stickers. <clears throat> but very cool, TTM Auto. Love this. Thank you so much, Rich. Phil, I know you're not watching, but thank you for uh, sending this my way. Next up, the Den Man. Dude, I'm telling you, I've told you before, me and Denny will tell you all the time. Check your antique malls. Go to your antique malls. You won't be disappointed at least 60% of the time. I never leave disappointed, even if I don't buy anything. But he rated it the honey hole, and uh, here's what he sent. This, I thought I had this, because I found the other one that I have of this which is different, believe it or not. It's an all Rangers one that I have, and I didn't know that. I found the one that I have at one of my Honey Hole Antique Malls. 
but this is a different one and I thought it wasn't. And I told him, I was like, man, I think that's the same one that I've got, but I don't care. I will take two. I love the oddball stuff. But this is different. And uh, Junior's on it, Ricky Henderson, Jose Canseco, and Joe Carter, along with Juan. And on the back of these reusable decals, there's a five by seven picture and it's of the Griff. So that is awesome. That will go checked off of the oddball list. And I'm so happy to have it because now all I need is the prototype, which is just an individual card. And uh, we'll be done with that. Um, here's the next thing he sent. Top Super Chrome, 5x7. Got the top loader for that, Dan. 8x10, top loaded. Picked this up at the uh, LCS. The top loader, that is. But this is the Dufex 8x10 from Zenith. What are you doing? The color is sad. That is purple. Oh. Come here. Come here. Do you want to say hey? Come here. Y'all have never seen Lily. This is Lily. She's a miniature version of me. This is Junior. And she's sweet and spicy. Spicy because she is wild. All right, back to, <laughs> back to the video. This is awesome. I did not have this. 8x10 of Gonzalez. This is the Dufex Zenith. Very nice. Just basically a jumbo card. There's one little area of damage, and I don't care because I didn't have one of these. And now I probably won't shop for one, another one of these. If I find one in public, I will pick it up, I'm sure. But I don't have to worry about buying one off the bay. I don't care about the damage. I love it. Denny, thank you. More Denny stuff. You will see more of this product, 99 Finest, and more of these in my recent pickups video, I'm sure, if I have enough time to fit them in because I've pulled a lot of these. But, sent me the sparkle. I needed the sparkle. I have the plaid, or the hyper plaid, and now i got to pick up the stadium stars, which I believe, and I might have to double check it, the stadium stars is just clear. Doesn't have sparkle, doesn't have plaid, um, it's just clear. And believe it or not, it's the one that books the highest. And there's nothing to it. I don't get it, but whatever. Uh, and then this. Was this from 97? I want to say this is from 97. 97 Upper Deck, Premier Power. Go check the book value on these, man. This thing booked for 15 bucks. They don't sell for that, but it booked for 15 bucks at one time. So these were obviously pretty tough. I haven't looked to see the, the odds on that. But that's it from Denny. Denny, thank you immensely. I love it. Moving on. Jason Willman, Mr. Fisher Bike, the MFB, sent me a PM the other day, and I need to respond to that, and I am sorry. I'm a bum for not responding to that yet. I've been busy. It sounds cliche. I'm telling you. It's really been busy. So, I will respond, Jason. I promise. It's nothing huge, but I hope you like it. And this will, of course, be last. There we go. So, I dig this. I think... I know I've got the one on the back, but I'm not sure if I have this one. I'm just going to pull these off. This is the stand-up guys from Pinnacle Inside. This is the uh, Sammy Sosa, and I can almost guarantee I don't have this one. Uh, I think I've got the samples of this, but this is uh, Sammy, Manny, Vlad, and Juan. So I think I've got that, the 11s, I'm pretty sure that I have. It's the 18s that I only have like one or two from. <clears throat> but the samples, dude, if I could ever find the samples, it is on. Um, and then this from Fleer Focus, Focus Pocus. And me and Jason have said this before. I said this in a video about four or five videos back, maybe. Probably even more than that. 
They really missed the boat on not numbering these. This would have been a great insert to number and make really short printed, but they didn't do it, uh, which is cool. You should have really awesome looking inserts that are easy to pull, but this would have been a really cool one to have numbered and make difficult to pull. <clears throat> house okay she has something to show me in her house all right then this i don't know what this is so i'm gonna ignore the back i'm actually focused on the camera here and we will see this together that is a near mint eight or was it near mint no oh mint mint nine Flare Outfield Power of Juan. Very cool. Honestly, I'm going to go out on a limb and say I do not have this. From 95 Flare Outfield Power of the man. Well, he's the man to me. <clears throat> Jason, this is awesome. Thank you so much. I really, honestly, I don't think I have this. So very cool. Very, very, very cool. I don't know if you submitted this or if somebody else did. But that is awesome. Thank you so much. Um, believe it or not, I've pulled your boy again. He just follows me. I, I'm pretty much banking on every box that I open from the 90s. Is the, the main hit is going to be no more. So, um, I've got your Christmas gift. I didn't have to buy it. I just pulled it. Um, so... If I don't get an itching before Christmas, that's your Christmas gift. So, um, and it, and what I mean by an itching, uh, an itching just to ju to just go ahead and send it to you. Um, if I don't do that, it will be your Christmas gift. So I'll probably hold off and just let it be your Christmas gift. <clears throat> but I know that's a long time from now. I'm sure you'll see something else because I'll just steadily keep pulling no more. It just happens. So, sorry. My face, where did it go? Um, anyway, thank you so much, Jason. Thank you, Denny. Thank you, Rich. And thank you, Jason. The other Jason. Love it. Guys, thank you so much. Sorry it's taken so long to get around to doing this. Um, I need to do better. Do you want to say bye? Yeah. All right, well, come here. Come here and say bye. Say bye. Say be good. You're not going to say it, are you? All right, guys. Be good. Be nice. Don't make me tell you twice.